the contact page. Now this is one of my favorite new features that we've included. And so what you can do is you can you can have whatever you want in this region. Um, but this this contact page has a map on it, and it's, you can actually do quite a bit with it. So um, we're going to go to the contact page and see. And it uses the contact template. Um, I think I've got more than one form on there. I'm just going to delete that form. Hit update. Now, the um, the page itself, being that it's a contact layout takes advantage of, of Google Map interface. So you can set a primary location and that's where the map is going to be centered. You can use an address. You can set the height of the map area, whether you want, you want it full screen or contained. In my opinion, full screen looks the best. You want to be able to show the markers or not. So let's just hide the markers, show you what that looks like. It means that this marker is not going to show. I should say, let's wait for the page to save. I always do that. So it's only just going to show the marker and not the marker information. Um, you can set the zoom. So for example, you can set, you can zoom right in or zoom right out. You set whether or not you want to show roadmap or satellite view. And in addition, you can have up to, and we've placed here, six marker locations. I can't imagine that you need any more than that. But the marker location, is the actual address and the um, the text label is what shows up in the, um, the little box right there so you can have you know say you have a I don't know a restaurant and you have a couple different locations you can list the locations or perhaps you're doing this site for um, perhaps your city's park and recreations division and you want to you know have a number of the different um, you know locations shown on the map that would be great as well we provide six but technically it could be expanded to even more um, maybe you have a, a headquarters and then maybe you have a you know your, your different data centers in different places you know you could also display that there so we've just given you a little bit of a taste you can even as well also change satellite view there but for the user when they go to view this page this is what these configurations are all about and just like all the other pages you can set your your h1 and your h2s uh, all your header tags here change your drop down menu if you want to your sidebars you can specify your sidebars in this particular layout we're not giving you the option to change any of the sidebars it is simply what you're seeing is what you're getting uh, although you can specify certain custom component regions if you want to you know place a banner bar over top of something else um, and the only other thing to really mention here is that if you want to go and insert a form within your page you can go to the uh, the contact forms interface and copy the short code or you can place your cursor in the page, click on the contact form, and select which contact form you'd like to include in the page, and click continue. And that's all there is to that. And you just make sure you hit update, and then of course you're done.